we wanted to get your reaction to the SEC schedule. And for me, I'm, I'm not excited about what came out, but it's still a win for me. Anything that was not a permanent long-term plan of an eight-game schedule was going to be a win for me. I did not want that 1-7 model. I don't want to stick at eight long-term. If I got to go eight in 2024, I'm okay. What was your initial reaction? Okay. Very clearly, let me state, I want nine league games in the SEC. So I'm like most people. That's preferable. That's what I want. Here's what I've seen so far. I've seen a lot of the same people screaming, you better play nine games in June, that would also be screaming, you are what your record says you are in December. And I think that's what scares some people in the SEC room. I don't care if you're bowl eligible. So that part of the argument, I, could, I couldn't care less about. I don't care how much money ESPN pays you. That doesn't affect anyone on this call right now. I couldn't care less about it. But the strength of schedule argument, I think, has some validity. Now, whether that's the main reason or not, that's my reason, because I think it's totally fair to look at that playoff committee and say, if we go to nine league games, already play in the, on average, strongest schedules in the country, are, are you going to look at two losses as two losses? Are you going to say you are what your record says you are come Selection Sunday? Or are you going to have a little wiggle room and a little bit of a better understanding that this is not pro sports? You aren't always what your record says you are. A win is not a win. A loss is not a loss. There are differing values to be placed on these things because some of us play a disproportionately tougher schedule than the others. So far, I don't hear enough nuance and context layered into that conversation to make me totally comfortable that, yeah, when we get to that point in an expanded playoff era, everyone's going to understand. There could be a 9-3 and three in the SEC, more powerful than an 11-1 and one in whatever the Pac-12 is at that point. Because to this point, that's been sacrilege in college football. You can't put someone above someone with two fewer losses than they have. And uh, sometimes I wouldn't. But I would at least like to carve ourselves out the room to debate that instead of going with the you are what your record says you are mentality. So, yeah, I think we all understand we're going to nine games. I think we get that. But I don't think it was just the worst, craziest decision in the world, even if I personally didn't like the decision. Hey, thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. Would you do a couple more things for us, please? Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and you set your alerts so you know when we're live and always give us that thumbs up.